16 inch wheels and the upgrade is to 18 inch rims thankfully it has four wheel disc brakes with vented rotors on the front wheels mechanically the power plants are the 2.4 liter four cylinder plant with variable valve timing it is rated at 173 horsepower and 166 foot pounds of torque it can be matched to either a four speed or six speed automatic transmission we strongly urge you to go with a six speed and avoid a feeling of pushing the small engine too hard. There is also a 3.6 liter V6 motor that offers 283 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque, only available with the six speed gearbox. Fuel economies for both engines are pretty close. The test vehicle, which is set up to accept E85 fuel, which also means that the tank is about two gallons larger than what is offered on the regular gasoline version. So after a week of driving, we were pretty satisfied with the performance and fuel economy. We also noticed that handling in curves and turns is a major improvement, but it's not quite up to where import competitors are, at least not yet. What Chrysler has done well is to make passengers comfortable. The roof line extends far enough back on the sedan that an adult can get into the rear seat area without becoming a contortionist and have adequate headroom. At least for now. The 200 is a big improvement in the ultra-competitive mid-size segment for Chrysler. However, it will need constant improvements before it will be considered a true rival to the entry luxury market where others have been dominant for many, many years. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.